What the heck is up, nerds of YouTube? Today, I'm doing that follow-up video that I promised months ago. A lifetime ago, even. So, today we're actually gonna do a little bit of, a little bit of Tmux setup. Okay, first things first, we should uh, probably install Tmux. See how it's going? Okay, perfect. So this is like the default config. Honestly, I feel like this looks fine too. We're just gonna make it look a little extra cute. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna install TPM, which I will link in the description. Boom. Do a little pasty roo. Okay, I don't think we have Git installed. Yeah. A must, a must. Again, this is a fresh VM, so all of the stuff that we did last time is not here. So it's straight from scratch. You don't have to have anything installed. This is literally me doing the try Ubuntu option. So, yeah. I got you. I got you. I got you. And then now you can actually just yoink my config. Again, I'll have this all linked in the description. <laughs> Nice. All right, cool. So now if we actually start up Tmux, we can do, so you want to use the prefix. So by default, that's going to be control B and then capital I. And then that is going to go ahead and install a bunch of stuff. So one problem is that we don't actually have nerd icons installed, it looks like. So we just went ahead and installed nerd fonts, just a random nerd font. And once that's installed, we actually had to restart our terminal so that it would actually register the new font in our preferences. You need that installed basically as a custom terminal font in order to be able to support all of the special icons and stuff like that that you get from this Tmux theme. So once that's been sourced, you'll be able to see that now it will fix those issues that we were having before and it'll look exactly like my config. So normally I would also have the weather shown on the bottom bar. The only reason I didn't for this video is because it will normally show your location. I have that turned off for my stream config. Basically you can find that in my Tmux plugins folder on my dot files. If you want a version of that that doesn't show your location. And then we can source it. So again, I just reloaded the Tmux environment by just doing the prefix and then capital I. So that's just basically, it's like the same way that you would install all the plugins and stuff as well. That's, that's pretty much it. This is my Tmux config. That was it, that was everything. Uh, this is using a different font than the one I use in my terminal. Also, I use Kitty, but it doesn't matter. Anytime you open up Tmux, it's gonna look all cute and Dracula themed just for you. Okay? Okay. Bye, nerds.